try to illustrate the problem uh, within my new MFJ 998. Uh, I think there's a uh, logic problem and we're going to demonstrate that. So I have an inverted L outside for 80 meters. Uh, it is resonant at 3825 exactly. And uh, I know that because I swept it with the uh, rig expert. And you can see here that when I key up here on CW, this is my foot switch usually on the floor, but I'm going to do it here, uh, we'll operate it up here so we can see it. So the tuner says uh, 1.0 SWR, 1500 watts, we're full scale. I tuned the amp. We're going to touch up the load here real quick. We're looking for peak output here. So we'll do that real quick. Don't get the tubes too hot. And then touch up the plate. Boom. So we are at uh, full power, the most optimal mode here at my resonant frequency. So what I'm going to demonstrate is the uh, oops over power or oops hertz or whatever. And we're going to turn up the power with the drive. So I'm going to start transmitting here. There's 60 watts. We're going to turn the exciter up a little bit. There's 15. There it is. Ouch. Overload. Okay. Turn it back down. So. And here we go. And I'm going to be real quiet. And you'll notice when it hits overload, it uh, warns you here, but it doesn't actually uh, trip any relays. Uh, it doesn't go into bypass. You can see that with the, the amp here. Nothing changes. You won't hear a click. You'll just see the display. Let's do that again. We're at 65 watts drive. I'm going to put my finger here and turn it up. I want to key it up here. So here we go. 1582. Bam. And then interestingly enough, if I turn the power back down, it recovers. Let's do it again. You'll hear no click. Uh, which means that it's not bypassing, which means it's not taking the switching network out of the uh, the circuit between the, uh, the tuner and the antenna outside, which is probably good. I would suspect that it should bring the, uh, the transmit line down or the amp control line down so that it shuts the amp off. If we're really worried about the over power here, we should turn the amp off. But that's not what's concerning me too much because even if it did bypass like that, there's... Uh, there's uh, it's an exact match at 3825. So even with the tuning network out of the the circuit, it's not a big deal. But here's where the issue is: if I go to one of these other bands, really low in on the spectrum, where my antenna is really out of tune, uh, which is really the reason for the tuner. So let's go ahead and try to tune it up. We're going to tune up a really low power. Working, working, working. Bam, found a match, 1.4 to 1. Okay, now that it's matched, uh, by the way, this is the SWR between the tuner and the antenna. So you can actually see how high the SWR is. It's uh, over 2.5, probably 3 to 1. Uh, now that the amp has, a, or the tuner presented a, a fairly decent match to the, tu uh, the amp, we're good. I'm going to tune the amp up now. Uh, first, I'm going to touch the plate up a little bit and make sure my power is only 30 watts. Okay, we're going to touch the plate up, see it dip in the plate. Well, that's power output, so we're going for max output, not dipping the plate. And I'm going to do load now. And let's see, load goes all the way up right about there. Touch the plate up, maximum power. Okay, so now that's full power. We still have an acceptable match, 1.5 to 1. Our, our exciter drive is 30 watts, so now we're going to creep up. And it's creeping up as expected. 1,500 watts, we're drawing a little higher plate current because we have such a high SWR out at the antenna. We can see that here with this other Maritron amp. So there's SWR of 5 at least, uh, 500 watts. But watch what happens when I go up and exceed. Uh, well, first of all, let me see if I can get that match a little closer. We'll tune up here. You notice how it shuts off the, uh, the uh, amp. Uh, now it's a too high of a power. So let's drop the... Oh, it doesn't like tuning uh, at high power at all. So... Okay, let it do it on its own. Okay, 1.7, not ideal, but uh, that'll have to work. Uh, that's the other thing about hitting that tune button here, or forcing the tune. It, it won't do it, uh, it won't drop the uh, transmitter or the uh, linear control here. So uh, even with five watts drive on the linear, it's still over uh, 100 watts. It's about 153 watts, too much for this. So that's another design issue when you hit the tune button. 
it should automatically do the same thing as Auto-Tune does. It should drop that linear amp control line and go ahead and do its tune. It's obviously not doing that, so we'll do this again. It says it needs minimal 5 watts, but didn't say anything about the max in the manual. So there's 153. If I touch that for two seconds, let go, it starts a tune, bam. Well, now it says increase power, so it's uh, in a confused state. Whoops, decrease power. So forget about that tune. We'll just have to go with the automatic tune, if you're all following me so far. Uh, 1.7 is it, and so what we're going to do is touch up the amp. I think we're, whoop, we already hit the high power. So uh, we've illustrated what I was trying to illustrate. So let it tune here. Okay, we're about a thousand watts, right? Uh, make sure, I think I already did this before. Okay, so we're tuned. Yeah, we're peaked. Maximum output, PO, uh, load, and the plate. Maximum power output, 1200 watts with 40 watts of uh, drive. 1.5 SWR reflected uh, 50. SWR is through the roof on the actual antenna. But here's where my concern is. So now I'm going to turn the drive up to get it to exceed 1500 watts to where it should uh, key up and say ouch overload. Uh, which in my mind what this should do is ouch overload and it should drop that linear control uh, push to talk line here and just drop the amp out of the circuit. Instead what you'll do, is, what you'll hear is you'll hear a click and it goes to bypass and it takes the switching or the uh, matching network out of the line which is really bad because now it's going to present this nasty SWR right to the amp. Uh, again, so right now what's holding this amp uh, in happy state is the fact we got a 1.5 SWR 1200 watts so we're matched. If you go to take this network out, which is what's going to happen when we hit overload, uh, boom, that high SWR is going to be presented to the amp. You're going to draw a mega current on the plate and grid, and you'll probably hear a little arcing. So we're going to do that. We're going to creep up. I'm going to key down. I'm going to key up a little or increase uh, exciter power and listen closely. Okay, now it's going to make a liar out of me. It's not doing it. Uh, why is that? Maybe because I came up slow on it. Okay, now it's drawn. It's not kicking out, so that's interesting here. Uh, I wonder why that is. Okay, lots of grid current, lots of plate current. Maybe we're not tuned uh, all the way. Let's try that again. We'll tune here at 800 watts. We'll go here at tune at 1200 watts. Now we're tuned. Okay, here we go. Grid current's too high. Okay, it's not tuned. It's not kicking out like it was before. So, uh, I don't know. You heard it click before. So, uh, anyway, uh, bad video. So, maybe my tubes are too hot. Do I got color? Nope, no color. Uh, tuning. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we weren't actually uh, tuned all the way. Here we go. So, uh, do a little bit more load. There we go. Like tune up for maximum power. That's got to be maximum power right there. Okay, now I have 65 watts. Okay, so we're 15. Here we go. So, I'm going to turn the exciter up. I'm at 65 watts. We've got the amp tuned. We're presented with a 1.5 to 1 SWR. We're right at the limit. I'm going to increase the uh, exciter and hit the limit and listen. There. Oh. There. Did you hear the sizzle? I heard the relay click. I heard the arcing back in there. And uh, it's in bypass mode. There's no tuning network. But yet I'm set to full power. And it's maxed out on a plate current. And I'm damaging stuff. So uh, not a good situation. So we can try that again. I'll turn the exciter power down. Way down. And so now it's an actual error. See when that happens, uh, I don't know. We got an error off OW. So whatever that means. So that's an issue. So we got to turn this back off. Uh, again, it only does that when we're trying to tune loads that are pretty far off of 2 to 1, between 2 and 6 maybe. Although this thing says it can tune a lot higher than that, uh, at least 4 to 1. I don't think I was near 4 to 1 at all for 50 ohm load. Uh, maybe I was. It was definitely over 2.5. So here we go. We'll do it again. Okay, it's doing a tune-up. We've got 20 watts of exciter drive. Okay, we have a match, 1.5, it's where we were before. We're going to go up, 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 listen closely, bam. See, and uh, now it says turn power off, so uh, it's scrambled. And it didn't drop the uh, 
linear amp control. That's the biggest problem. I heard it go in a bypass. You can hear those relays click. The uh, the, circ the CPU, when it does that, for whatever reason, if, if it's hitting a subroutine for high SWR, I don't know how it knows that this is any higher than being near the resonant, it needs to automatically drop this uh, linear control. In fact, any time we hit that oops over current, uh, instead of sitting there honking at you and potentially damaging the unit, it needs to drop the linear control because it's the linear that's causing the power that's going to damage this. So if this was a bigger linear, honking away isn't going to do anything to protect it if I'm going up on exciter drive and it's letting me do it. You need to drop this transmit on the push to talk. So uh, at this point we're hosed. Uh, we're, the needle is kind of stuck through its hands up mode. I call it hands up, I'm done, turn power off, you're screwed. So uh, there you have it. I hope this illustrates it. We can try it again real quick. Uh, turn exciter power down, 35 watts, it'll go on automatic tune, finds an acceptable match, I'm going to turn it up, I'm going to creep up on 1500 watts, 1200 watts, I'm going to make sure I'm tuned, yeah, the amp hasn't changed any, it's peaked out, peaked out, oh. yeah, right there, so we are at uh, maximum, maximum loading, there we go, perfect, out, highest output, kind of dip the output, 1400 watts, 1 6. Here we go. We're at 55 watts. We're going to turn out and listen closely. See, now it's not kicking it out. So that's interesting. We should have been kicking it out. And I'm not sure why that's doing it. Let's uh, make sure we're tuned. We're tuning again at 1000 watts. Oh, maybe it wasn't tuned all the way. Okay. Plates are probably getting red hot back there. Tune up a little bit more. Still getting, still pulling more power. Yeah, kitty. Okay, now let's see, 45. Okay, we're going to go up now. So here we go. Still not doing it. So uh, 1300 watts, trying to tune it a little more. 